Hello, just a quick video to introduce uh, routine and its capabilities. Um, so routine is really all about centralizing all of your information in one tool. It's really a personal productivity app as opposed to collab collaborative apps. We might have collaborative features in the future, but for now what we want to fix is really your work, your time. It could be personal stuff, professional stuff, but it's really individual in terms of your own time. So the first thing is that as a, a knowledge worker, you probably have a lot of things going through your head. Uh, sometimes when you're uh, uh, working in the street, sometimes at your office, you are focusing on something. You need to really capture that information as quickly as possible. But that information not only comes from your brain, it also comes from emails, chat messages, uh, but also project management uh, tickets that are assigned to you uh, um, when you uh, define as a team uh, who should be working on what. So the first thing I want to introduce is our keyboard shortcut that is available anywhere on your desktop. So just hit uh, control and space and you'll have what we call so the dashboard that summarizes all of your information, all of the information about your productivity, which are the task of the day, the events to come, and a console, which is a way for you to capture, create event, create tasks, uh, and so on and so forth. So let's say that you've got uh, something that you want to remember, like come back to uh, Nicholas. And uh, you just want to remember that, we remember that without breaking your flow, uh, you will deal with that later on. So you just press enter and that will be saved in an inbox. That's all good and simple. But sometimes you need more complicated stuff, like maybe you want to do something like uh, schedule call with YC partners every three months, uh, starting uh, on, uh, sorry, the 1st of June, let's say. That will create a recurring task so that you can remember to do that uh, every three months. And we have many uh, possibilities in terms of fine tuning the uh, frequency of your uh, recurring task. And the same is true with events and so on. Something else that we uh, think routine is really useful for is uh, contextualizing information. So instead of using tags, as many other tools do, we decided to focus more on the context. So by context, I mean uh, a meeting, a person, a task even, uh, or a page, uh, as I will show you. Um, we think that there is no need to create tags uh, most often. Sometimes it's, it's useful, uh, but we think that the context is a natural uh, tagging system. And so sometimes you'll have something like, I don't know, uh, discuss uh, rays, uh, and you want to put that in, uh, uh, let's say, a person. And that means that this information, which could be a task or a note, uh, some text, is going to be stored in the notes of uh, of that specific profile person. So I, I'll show you. So you just do that uh, and it will go in the notes specifically attached to that person. So that's obviously a way to contextualize information. But it could be something also like uh, Dune uh, movies and that's it. You've just added Dune as your list of movies. You didn't have to go through uh, the routine app. It's been done automatically for you. Now let's go to uh, uh, the app. So the app looks like this. There is uh, a today screen, which is all about focusing on what's happening today. There is a planner, which is more of a calendar view uh, uh, and, and, and combines both all of your events of all of your calendars, plus the task of the week. And at the bottom, you have the task for every specific day. You have your inbox that I just talked about. Uh, upcoming, which are the tasks to come in the future. You have a journal, which is more uh, a view of the, of the past. And we have the notes, uh, sorry, the pages, which are more uh, topic specific notes. And as you can see, Dune has been added here. Uh, so it's been very easy for you uh, to just store information contextually. Now, the planner is likely the most important view because it allows you to overview all of the things that you have to do, both the things that you capture yourself, the tasks coming from email, from chat, from project management, as you can see here with Notion, but also from the specific context, like this one comes from a page, uh, this one uh, comes from a meeting. So uh, you, uh, in this case, I created checkboxes in a meeting 
and automatically that is contextualizing the task to the to the meeting so that's how uh, you organize you overview all of your tasks then you can very easily uh, schedule so you could just drag and drop uh, in a day you could block time uh, if you wanted to just drag uh, uh, the task and, and and you can also increase the size that so of the the the, the task so that you have more time to work on it. But you can also decide that this task, for instance, is no longer important for this week. And so we have this concept of postponing, uh, which tells you, which allows you to say, okay, I want to reconsider this task in several weeks, maybe let's say in two weeks. And so this task is going to come back in this view in two weeks, which is here, as you can see as opposed to snoozing, which most other tools provide, which is going to bring the task specifically uh, for a day, which we feel is not the optimal way of dealing with things when you want to reevaluate if a task is important. But you can obviously say, okay, this task, I want to schedule it for, I don't know, Thursday, and that will come to Thursday. And if we want to do the equivalent of snoozing, you can always reschedule it for next Monday and that will be uh, ready for next Monday and so on and so forth. So it's pretty easy. The beauty of this planner is that again it combines both uh, the, 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 the task of the week, the events as well and since all of your um, tasks coming from different sources, email, chat, project management and your own tasks uh, come into that view, it's very easy to overview and then to prioritize. You can't prioritize what you cannot see, and you can't work on something if it's not in your calendar. So that's why this view combines all of the, all of the elements for you to be super productive. That's basically it. We have many other features, uh, but that's, that's the, the, the crux of it. Uh, so if you really want to, to, to test it, uh, just sign up on the website and, uh, and you'll be able to really enjoy uh, how to be productive uh, uh, really quickly. Thank you.